quite an incredible scene. Greg Chappell cheered all the way up to the middle. Everyone up there, backside, standing up, cheering him up to the middle. And this is last test match. One ball to go this over. Vadasa to Chapel. Turns it on the onside. He's off the mark. So Chapel has won a big cheer from this crowd. Australia two for 71. Chapel facing Abdul Kadir. A spin that's in the air, but safe. And will beat Kazim away to the boundary. Greg Chapel's first boundary. And Australia moved to two for 75. Good shot. Safras can't get the boot on it. And it's away to the boundary. Three parts of the way to the fence and now into the rope. That was a good over in part from Azim Hafiz, three for one, one, two. Shot, beautiful shot. Now comes the test for Abdul Qadir. Can he restrain himself and try and bowl accurately or is he going to go for all out attack? Azim to Chapel. It's going to beat Mosin and Karir over the boundary rope. So Greg Chappell showing a bit more aggression after T. Leg slip and a slip on the offside for Karir. And a misfield there by Salim at backward point gives Greg Chappell his half century. Relief in the crowd. That's one milestone past. Greg Chappell's 32nd half century in Test match cricket. And now it's his job to make these next four runs for Greg Chappell as difficult as possible to get. Safrez to Chappell again. Quick single. In comes Mosin. He'll shy the stumps. Chappell's home. And they're overthrows. This could be it. Chapel turning for the second. He'll be back for the third. Hughes is flying. He'll come back for the fourth. And this run makes Greg Chapel the most prolific scorer of runs in the history of cricket in Australia. 18,000 people rise to their feet and cheer one of the greatest batsmen of all time. And Chapel smiles. But listen to the crowd. And they're saying no man has deserved it more. Well, it's Medassa. There's the jump for the side. And there the two. Kasim picks up. Chapel comes back for the second. And he has now scored 7,000 runs in test cricket. He's the first Australian batsman to reach that target and becomes the sixth batsman in the history of the game to have scored 7,000 runs. And that uh, boundary will take him to 83 and that score. Beating your old mate Redder, Staffy. You see, and what a great way to start the day for Greg Chappell. The new ball, only in its fifth over, and with that boundary, he knocks off Ian Redpath's record. That's in the air, but picking the gap between the third slip and gully. That'll be a way for the eighth boundary to Greg Chappell, and also brings up the Australian 250. Greg Chappell in a very aggressive mood this morning. Three boundaries to start the morning. 
Australia three for 254. Azim Hafiz now, four for 272. Greg Chappell on 99. Just one away from something quite unique. Shot, beautiful stroke. What a marvellous way to bring up 100 with the classic cover drive we've seen so often over the years from this great player. His wife, Judy, is so pleased he knows this is his last international game of cricket for Australia. A century to Greg Chappell. And what a magic moment for us all. Not only the people here at the Sydney Cricket Ground, but the viewers throughout the Nine Network. I'm sure there's a tear in Judy's eye there because there's a few people around this ground with a lump in their throat. What a magnificent effort from one of Australia's all-time greats. The crowd are standing here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. It's a magic moment for us all, and particularly for Greg Chappell. Gets an edge and it races through the gallery. Well, we remember Greg Chappell's first 100, first test match ever on the WACA ground. And he came to the wicket with Australia in a lot of trouble on a fine partnership between him and Ian Redpath. And Greg went on to make 108. I'll never forget that match. Another Chappell drive, and it's another classic. Beautifully timed. Perfectly placed and four from the minute that left the bat. And that is practically the shot of the morning. Went like a rocket. Head, feet, bat, in everything in perfect position. So scored over a thousand runs on three grounds. Made four hundreds here. Oh, what a shot. Beautiful timing, that ball just a little short outside off stump. And on this occasion. It's cut off by Zahir. So for picking that uh, hook shot up and a couple of bounces over the boundary. It's four for 348. 138 not out at the moment. That is a tremendous performance. Good shot too. Nice way to go on to 142. These two have added well over a hundred now. Got that through. The outfield is quicker over there. It's going downhill. Four more to Chapel. 150 up for Greg Chapel. What a great finish. Placed with precision and not hit all that hard, but with super timing. Tempted bouncer. And Greg Chappell, uh, Greg Chappell's right on top form today. Started off with boundaries in the first ten minutes. He's never looked back. Medusa Nazar to Greg Chappell. That's close. Yes, indeed. Kept a bit low, played across it, and I think it would have hit uh, about middle and leg. And the whole crowd rises now to Greg Chappell. 182 in his last Test match innings. He made 108 in his first test match innings in Perth, 182 in his last test match innings at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Former Australian captain, one of the greatest players ever to wear the baggy green cap and to grace the cricket field on behalf of this country.